Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with a weekly reading for you for the week starting August 14th, 2017. Thank you for joining me. As always, please remember that these are general, so they're not going to apply to everyone. Watch your moon and your rising sign as well. And for private readings or if you want to look at the special priced readings that are now on offer, the links you need are in the description box below. Okay, so... Your overall energy for the week, at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups here can represent a focus on a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. For others of you, this can be a focus on business, okay, business negotiations, business deals, um, and for others, this could be a week where um, it's about receiving for you is what I'm getting with this energy, okay, it's about receiving. So, coming into the week, as you start the week, or what's been happening before um, this week, or even early in the week, we have the Death card. This is a major arcana card, and it talks about major change and transformation. Something has ended, or something is ending for you very early on in the week, or has ended already as you're coming into the week. Um, for those of you, this can be about a Scorpio coming into your life, okay, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or coming back into your life for others of you. Um, and then the week is about the Four of Wands, and this can be about uh, a reconciliation for some, uh, someone coming back home after, you know, uh, a, a job that has taken them away from home or a tour of duty that has taken them away from home. Um, this could also be putting a marriage back together for some, okay, with the Four of Wands here. Um, and for others, this is the end of you looking for a job the end of you searching and struggling because now you have a new job, you're joining a new company. Further, this is about um, moving. You're going to a new place of residence. And it's a lot better for you. It brings you a lot more harmony and stability. Um, I do see fresh starts for some of you and for others, endings that open the doors to new beginnings. Um, and also looking at resurrections from the past, okay? And the outcome to the week is the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is reviewing documentation or reviewing paperwork, okay? If this is about a new contract that you're signing this week. For others, it's about communication. It's about being completely honest and perhaps establishing some new ground rules if a relationship is going to work, if you're actually going to try to salvage a relationship. It's about new rules. Um, for others, this is about study, learning, training, okay, if it's again attached to a new position, um, dealing with official documentation if you're moving um, with this page of swords, getting yourself settled in, talking to a lot of different people around you, trying, uh, getting to know your environment, okay, with the page of swords, um, but it's definitely about new beginnings and fresh starts, okay, new beginnings in terms of starting something over, giving it a, a new beginning, um, and also just fresh starts. Okay, now we're going to look at what else is around these energies with the new Vision Tarot deck. Okay, so what else is around for Taurus around this death card? What else is around the death card for Taurus? So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, <laughs> the King of Pentacles, the uh, Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So it is about a victory and a fresh start when it comes to work, a victory and a fresh start when it comes to where you live. Also cutting ties with perhaps an Earth sign, a Taurus of Virgo or Capricorn. Cutting ties with them, moving on from them, moving forward from them. Perhaps with a Scorpio or just towards the single life. Um, but before you know it, there may be someone who catches your eye really, really quickly, or there's a fire sign that you're moving towards as well, okay? So that would be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's definitely about the severing of ties, okay? The end of a difficult situation, and this is happening in a way that you're happy with, okay? With the uh, Six of Wands there. You're getting what you hoped for. You're getting what you have worked for. So what else is around, is around this Four of wands what else is around the four of wands it could also be about someone finally growing up you know and being ready to do the right thing so it could be about taking a relationship to the next level it could have been after a time of a separation or a breakup 
while they took time to clear their heads, figure out what's important. So what is around this Four of Wands for Taurus? Okay, so we have the King of Wands, so there's a fire sign that is either offering you a new job, you're moving in with this person, you're marrying this person, um, or this person is coming back home one way or another. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, okay, so this person is offering you a complete new beginning, but they mean it this time. It's almost like they mean it this time. So if it's about a reconciliation and getting back together, I do feel like they're genuine. Um, fire sign energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be their sun sign, their moon sign, or their rising sign. But regardless of the sign of this person, this is someone who maybe previously had been too passive, uh, was taking very long to commit or too long to commit. Or someone who may have not been very serious about a connection. Um, and now it's like they've grown up and they really mean what they say, okay? For others, this person's bringing you a new job offer. It may involve travel. It may be involve uh, a, a change in the career that you have or the types of job that you've been going for. But it's a very blessed change. It will bring you more and more opportunities. It may give you opportunities to travel and see the world. It may give you opportunities to uh, network, make some really important contacts, and new beginnings that are going to be very um, profitable for you as well, okay, with this here. And it could also be, like I say, you know, getting the proposal, but it's it's meant, you know, it's, it's something that has been thought through and they really mean it, or this is you doing this to the fire sign or with the fire sign, uh, and there's also a water sign here, so they're going from water sign to a fire sign, a water sign coming into your life and they're very very active in very um kind of know what they want go get her type of attitude and they will show up as a fire sign could be the same person they have water and fire in their chart as well yeah ten of cups and the knight of swords so for some of you it is about a reconciliation after a very big fight or a very big conflict okay and it's about bringing the family back together and let's see what is around this page of swords what is around this page of swords? Three of Cups. This is about celebration and joining a new community. So maybe you are move, moving, <laughs> moving uh, a new community. Okay, Mo maybe you're moving. Maybe this is a new uh, group they're going to be working with. Okay, Page of Swords again, and the Three of Swords. Let's just clarify this. What else can you tell me about this? Okay, so here's what we have. We have the Three of Cups, Page of Swords with the Three of Swords. It may, it may be someone who is hesitating because of a past breakup, because of a past betrayal. The Hermit could be, I need more time to think about this. I need more time to figure out what I want to do. The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Star. Things may be moving uh, very quickly. It's like it's too good to be true. You need more time to think about it. You need more time to process things because there's been a past betrayal and now you're very, very hesitant because you've got burnt in the past. Proceed with caution. Move at a pace that you're comfortable with. However, um, I will say that it looks like they, they mean what they say. Okay, so at least for the time being, if you feel like your intuition is telling you maybe give them a chance, test them, put them to the test, see if they are going to do what they say they will, okay, or if they're making empty promises. Be wise here, protect yourself, okay, be wise with the hermit. Um, for those of you, this is about a choice between two people. So again, we have fire, we have water. Both these people are making you offers and propositions, and you're kind of stuck, and you hesitate, because it's almost like, okay, which one do I go for? You have two threes and the page of swords. You're hesitating. You're holding yourself back. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know which one to pick. With the star card here, I will say, look deeper into things. Make sure that um, people mean what they say. And they're not just making big promises. And this could be for love, but it could also be for work and, and anything else. Be wise. Slow things down and look further into things. And also see if their actions match their words. And that's how you're going to have your answer. Okay, but this is saying don't just go rushing into something, look into it, okay, say uh, let me think about it or say I need more information on this or say uh, let's talk about it some more before I make my decision and just make sure that 
whoever this is and whatever they're talking about, their actions match their words, okay? But overall, it looks like an amazing week. It looks like an amazing week. You could get something that you've been hoping for and wishing for for a really long time. Any choices you have to make, be um, careful, take your time. Okay, take your time. Don't go rushing into anything. Look deeper into things. Get more information. It doesn't have to be that there's foul play there, but it could just be things that you overlook. And before you know it, you get involved in a situation where you think it's one thing and actually it's something else. Okay, so just look deeper into things. Ask questions. And for people you're not sure about, make sure that their actions match their words. But it could be an absolutely amazing week for you here. Okay, so there you have it. Remember, this is general. It's not going to apply to everyone. If it does make sense to you, let me know how it applies, okay? Let me know how the cards speak to you. But um, uh, thanks very much for your support. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, have a great week ahead, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.